Hello everybody, I'm just going to be making a quick video and this is going to cover the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 and its model SMT217A and this is going to be for the carrier AT&T. Um, as you can see on Sam Mobile, their website, uh, their firmwares for this device for AT&T only cover version 4.4.2 but if you're already 4.4.2 then you are not going to be able to use this firmware to restore your device if something has happened to it uh, like that happened to mine. And I tried to do this last year, uh, some uh, probably around like June, July last year, and I just kind of gave up on it because I couldn't really find anything online uh, that was 4.4.2 for AT&T. Uh, they have plenty that you can find on Sam Mobile for Sprint and uh, T-Mobile, or you can just find them throughout the web using Google. Um, but a problem that I saw on many forums, I, I went to many forums and uh, for Android developers, everything, and no one had this firmware to download. Uh, from what I what I get it was only available for, uh, to download um, via Wi-Fi through AT&T and the update system on the Galaxy Tab itself but uh, if if you can't get into your Galaxy Tab if, if you're locked out because of a update error or whatever error then th this is not going to be an option for you and you have to have the actual software to restore it um, so what I did is um, I, uh, I, I used Google forever, could not find anything on it uh, for this software for this device. So I used Bing and I did manage to find a website that had the software and uh, you have to disable your ad blocker, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to refresh and you're going to see, um, I'm going to put this link in the description below and you're just going to click this blue button and download this file. Um, it does have a password on it, but the password is in the information and I will go th I'll, I'll show you exactly where it is so you know how to use it. Um, but it's, it's just going to be um, www.gemflash.com uh, and it's, it's, it's in the address bar above. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to walk you through that so there's no confusion. Um, and I used I used an older version of Odin. I used uh, this 3.1.3 version. Um, you can download. I I guess you can download the latest one and it'll work too. But the one I used was the 3.1.2. Um, so feel free to use whatever version you know you want. Whatever version works for you. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the one that I use because I know it works and I haven't tested it with the other versions and I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Um, so okay, so after you have all those downloaded um, and you're going to go to unzip this RAR file. I, I, I already unzipped it but I'm going to act like I'm just unzipping it for the first time. Uh, so I'm going to double click it and you'll see the password right here at the bottom. It'll say the password is www.gem-flash.com so you can just highlight that and copy and we're gonna act like we're extracting it here and we're just gonna paste the password and you'll see I already have these files so of course it's gonna ask me if I want to overwrite them but um, I don't want to overwrite them uh, the file will take you probably like you know 30 minutes or so to download depending on your connection um, I, I just put it on download went to sleep woke up and uh, did all this after I woke up. Anyways, so you'll have all these files that come with it, all the important ones at least. Um, I did not use the pit file. The .pit file I did not use at all. Um, the only files I used were the, the regular APBL, CP, and CSC files. And you're gonna open Odin. Uh, please disable your Windows firewall and your Windows Defender or any antivirus software that you have before running this and you want to run as administrator and you're going to connect your device and you'll see you'll see if it's connected this blue com uh, icon will pop up 
and some text will pop up here and um, oh you have to put your device in download mode before you connect it and all that stuff so um, if you don't know how to put your device in download mode um, you hold the volume down button the power button and the home button all at the same time and you do this while the device is off and it'll turn on and it'll go into download mode after you press the volume up and um, from there you just add uh, all the files in their appropriate spots BL and BL, AP and AP uh, AP will take the longest and then you do CP, CSC and you click start and that is it it will go through the restoration process and it should take about you know five to ten minutes somewhere around there um, but after that your Galaxy Tab 3 uh, this model it should be restored and work perfectly fine um, as I said before once you're on 4.4.2 it won't allow you something in Odin or something I'm not sure if it's a Knox or whatever it is but it will not, it will always give you an error if you try to restore this particular device uh, to 4.2.2 so you have to have 4.4.2 for this to work and to restore properly and uh, like I said it, it's taken me at least you know a year or so to get to this obviously this device is not that important to me it's just something that was given to me and because the previous owner couldn't figure it out but um, I figured it out I got it to work you can see I'm running everything's working fine um, but yeah I really hope that this answers a lot of questions for people who cannot find the software or are just having trouble um, you know restoring their their Galaxy Tab 3 um, but yeah this this took me a really long time to figure out and I finally figured it out and I know a lot of people really probably could use this information and this help so I really genuinely hope that this helps someone out out there to restore their device if this helps at least one person then I'll be happy um, please like subscribe um, I don't have very many videos but you know if I can upload something that can help somebody then expect more videos in the future thank you very much